Okay, someone's going to meet with the male. <laughs> mm. <laughs> not convinced. Oh, we got ignored. <laughs> I guess not. <laughs> Hello, adventurers. Welcome to Scotland. Land of the brave and the free. Country so rich in history and culture. In this video, I'll be sharing my unique experience in Scotland. If you're planning a trip to Scotland soon, this might be helpful for you. So, let's begin! My first core memory of Scotland is exploring the beautiful city of Edinburgh. It was so cool looking at the medieval stone buildings as I walked down the street. At the heart of the city, there's a beautiful St. Giles Cathedral. This 900 years old building is nicer than most modern buildings. The most amazing part, there is one whole intact castle right smack in the midst of town that's built on top of an extinct volcano. How cool is that? The castle was very well maintained. My wife and I actually spent like 4 hours just looking at all the museums inside the castle. <laughs> Behold, the national animal of Scotland. It's a unicorn. <laughs> You'll definitely enjoy a visit to the castle if you're curious to find out about the who and the what and the why of Scotland. Did you know that under these streets, there are hidden tunnels? The South Bridge Falls. These tunnels were built back in the 18th century, but they were sealed and forgotten. They have since been rediscovered and quickly became an iconic part of the city. I would highly recommend this experience because it was a fun, spooky way to explore Edinburgh. The whole city was like a living museum with much to see. Now, out of the city, into the Highlands. My best memory of the Highlands was actually the Highland Games. <gasps> The Highland Games is like an ancient Scottish Olympics. Back then, the Scottish clans would send their best clansmen to compete in sports. So here we are, forming our own clans to claim victory over the Highland Games. Well, but uh, short of being sporty Olympians, we switched up the games a little bit. Game number one, Welly Wangen. Instead of throwing a big ass rock, we're throwing boots. We must land within the boundary. Nine. And we get a bonus point if it stands. At least it's good. <laughs> oh. Oh. Game number two, the two clans compete to flip a tire there and back. It was pretty tiring. Game number three, the caber toss. Each clansman will have to toss a lot such that it rotates and land in a 12 o'clock position. It's way harder than it looks. Game number four, the tug of war. I was super proud of my clan because we won all the tug of war match with all the other clans. In the final tug of war, we teamed up with Clan Braveheart. Oh, 
sort of laughs. <laughs>, <laughs> Did we help them? Yes! Damn! It was such a fun way to experience the Scottish tradition. So, if you do get a chance to join one, it's certainly an experience not to be missed. Further up the highlands, I got to witness some of the most memorable views in Scotland. Like the iconic Glenfinnan Viaduct. If you time your visit, you can also catch the Hogwarts Express. And the Loch Ness. I tried to find Nessie with a boat, looked for any signs of the mythical beast, and even swam in the loch. But Nessie remains to be found. Though I did find out that the water in the loch is very cold. The picturesque highlands were definitely a highlight. Then, savouring in deeper flavour of Scottish culture, we joined a local bar for a Cayley night. A Cayley is a traditional Scottish gathering with music and dancing. The bar was packed. A few songs in, the lead singer said, Hey guys, the space in front is actually reserved for people to come forward and dance. So come on up. A few of us obliged, myself included. A few more songs in. I felt an itch, an itch to dance. But it's so dreadful to just jump up and dance, especially with everyone else around. What if I end up being the only one dancing? Wouldn't it be embarrassing? Well, 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 only one way to find out. I was so happy that I wasn't the only one. It was very fun. Alright guys, that's my best experience in Scotland. I hope it gave you some inspirations of what kind of experience you might like in Scotland. And I wish you a very happy and memorable journey. If you're coming by the UK, you might as well check out the coast of England 